This first exercise will help you practice modeling with blue wax. Let's begin by forming a wax like this one. This exercise teaches you the technique of modeling on an object. Load the matte gun with matte blue wax and set the thermostat for normal. On a wooden mandrel, locate the correct size for the ring you are designing. Check the size with a finger gauge, mark it with a pencil, or wrap a strip of paper around the mandrel. Use the matte ring mandrel for this technique. The wood prevents the wax from sticking. With a steel jewelry mandrel, put a piece of masking tape once around to help hold the wax. With a steel mandrel, extrude a short wire onto the mandrel, then tape it with masking tape. This lead-in will act as an anchor for your work. A wood mandrel does not need a lead-in because the wax will stay in place. As you apply wax, turn the mandrel with your other hand. You can also change the thickness of the extruded wax by alternately holding the mandrel still, then turning the mandrel while you keep the extruding pressure constant. Remove the completed wax from the mandrel. If you need to touch up the surface, use a heated tool or a wire warmed over an alcohol lamp. With the matte blue wax, you can capture the beautiful fluid line of an abstract design. Experiment with the blue wax pellets included in your matte gun kit to perfect the technique of modeling on an object. You can also create rings in two or three parts, then weld the parts together. These instructions are featured in the book, Wax Modeling, included in the matte gun kit. Try some of the projects featured in the book to expand your ability. Blue wax is also very effective for modeling in air. With this technique, the wax freezes in mid-flow to build some unusual designs. The modeling in air technique can be used to design organic shapes. Load the matte gun with blue wax and set the thermostat just below the normal setting. For this technique, you will need a rigid piece of wire. Heat the tip of the wire and wind some wax around it to form your lead-in. Using moderate steady pressure, extrude a wax wire while turning your lead-in wire. As you extrude the wax, blow on it so it freezes in the position you want. A small fan on your bench will help with this. Remember to keep any flame away from the fan. Continue to build your design in space. Move the matte gun, the lead in wire, or both together to create your design. When your design is complete, cut the lead-in off of the completed wax. If you need to, burnish the spot where the lead-in was cut with a heated wire or pass the entire model quickly over the flame of an alcohol lamp. For another technique, use a mandrel to form the shank, then come up in the air to build your design. Extrude several different freeform shapes and choose parts of each to form your design. You can form beautiful organic shapes with this technique. Practice this exercise to develop your own sense of the flexibility and control of modeling in air. Designing with a pattern can help you plan ahead before you begin modeling. Try this exercise to experiment with this technique. Modeling with a pattern can save you time and materials. Draw your own pattern or choose a pattern from nature, photographs, or other sources. Use tracing paper so the wax will hold but not stick. Load the matte gun with blue wax and set the thermostat at normal. Look at your pattern and decide how it can be broken up into separate elements. With sweeping strokes, follow the lines of the pattern. Begin each line before the pattern and carry it out beyond the pattern. This helps control the flow of wax and prevents droplets of wax from interfering with the pattern. Cut off the excess wax and weld the ends together with a heated tool. 
After it cools, cut a piece of sheet wax with a blade or scissors into a shape that appeals to you. Weld your pattern to the sheet wax. Seal the pattern with a heated tool completely around to prevent any holes between the pattern and the sheet. Another sealing method, heat the tool and push it through the sheet wax to weld your pattern in place. Practice this exercise with several patterns. This technique is very good for making models for enameled jewelry. Refer to your book for additional techniques and design possibilities. Experiment with the projects in this tape and try the tips in the book. Your new skill will inspire ideas and methods of your own.